What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Dev Plizank. And today, man, we're gonna be reviewing the new album that came out about a month ago. Young Sylvan. Sylvan Le Q, uh, apologies in advance. Now, I know a lot of y'all was really expecting me to do a review and whatnot, but y'all gotta understand, man, um, I'm gonna start going more to these kind of reviews just because I'm just one person, right? I can't listen to, you know, boatloads of albums each and every day. There's new music that literally drops probably every hour of the day. Like, it's just impossible for me to do. So, um, yeah, the reaction thing is cool, but look, I wanna get to everything. So, you know, sometimes I would just have to actually talk about an album rather than, you know, actually doing a reaction to it. I feel kinda bad because Young Sylvan gave him his album like two weeks prior before it released, so that's another reason why I actually couldn't do a reaction to it. But man, I just wanna say, man, I'm surprised about his album. I'm very proud of Young Sylvan, what he did. It's, I call him Young Sylvan, but we literally the same age. That's just what I call him, uh, it's a habit. You know, apologies in advance, man. Right from, right from the get-go, it, it literally just just grabbed my attention. I always told y'all, man, like sometimes there's a time and place for everything. And with Sylvan, you know, he he, he gives off kind of like this self-reflection vibe, you know, um, you know, kind of looking in the mirror and expressing it in his music, his album cover, you know, him sitting around kind of looking like it's an AA meeting and you get it, apologies in advance. You get the acronym AA, you don't really count the I, but I thought that was kind of cool. He kind of had that whole idea um, going throughout his album, throughout the skits. It was 20 tracks, which, you know, to me, that's a lot of tracks. You know, usually that's a lot of tracks, but in this case, um, half of the tracks were just skits. Some of the people giving their testimonies throughout their life, you know, trials and tribulations, um, you know, addiction, all that stuff. It was really cool how he put that together. I feel like with, when it comes to Sylvan LeQ, man, like the band can rap. A couple of my subscribers said he sounded like Kermit the Frog when he raps. I didn't really think about that, and I listened to him. You know, I, I, I could see where y'all, you know, with the yokes, where y'all come in with that, and he, he, he does kind of give a little bit of resemblance to Kermit, I guess. But nah, for the most part, Sylvan Le Q can rap. And it's just a sad thing that we have in today's world, man. Like, nobody is really listening for real rap. Everybody just wants hype music. No one's really listening to lyrics anymore. And that's just that just comes with the air. That just comes with the times. And I feel like when you get gems like this, you know, you get Silver Lacues and you get the Mick Jenkins and you get the, the Tokyos and and who else is, a, is is upcoming rappers that you know no one really hears about, but you know you ha they have their fan bases. The only the only uh, con I can really say that he did bad with this album is he just had so many singles released. You know, I think uh, Selfish, Guilt Trip. What else is another song that came out? 555 was the latest to come out. I think it came out the end of December or it was the beginning of January. It was either or, but I feel like he just had a lot of singles. So when you actually got to the album, if you were a Syl Sylvan LeQ fan, you actually got to the album and felt somewhat left out because you know, you've know you heard uh, a lot of these tracks for you know over, over the past year and whatnot, past months. And I feel like you only got like six to seven new tracks or e six, even five. I'm, I think I'm pushing it with seven. So that was the only thing I said bad being, being um, you know, a current listener of Sylvan. But if you were something new, man, this was definitely refreshing. Tracks like Best Me, Best Me. It was probably his, his, his best hitter of last year. Um, you know, I like how he had the skits and then leading on into the tracks. So basically the skits were like preludes to the tracks. I, th I thought that was cool. That's why I said, like I said, he had the whole AA meeting going on and then different people giving their testimonies to then lead onto his tracks. You know, his tracks is basically, um, you know, him basically being the, the therapist there, you know, the psychologist. And I work in a mental health institute, so that was kind of uh, cool, like, you know, the whole AA thing. I know how that actually goes. I've actually seen it in person. So I, I, I like how he, you know, he he was there and he was kind of like the psychologist getting you through that. But at the same time, reflecting on his own issues in the songs. Um, you know, my favorite tracks being uh, Coffee Break. Coffee Break was there. Empathy, oh, um, empathy is, 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 the, is the shit. Like I, I still listen to empathy to this day, you know, one of my favorites, you know, I put it in my playlist and another track that was really good was uh, Perfect Imperfections. You know, he kind of had like a, a Kanye feel in there, you know, the Kanye addiction flow. If y'all know the addiction song, he he used that a little bit, using that tempo. And I, I like what he did there, showing a little homage to, to Kanye. It's not like he stole, you know, the exact song, just, you know, showing him a little homage. So I definitely love what Sylvan LeCue has done. It's just unfortunate. Like, it's just really unfortunate that he's just not getting the recognition. You know, I actually listened to a couple of Search and Sylvan. The people that tell me every day, you need to listen to Search and Sylvan, Search and Sylvan. I, look, I, I've already listened to it, y'all, all right? Like, let me put that out there. I already listened to it. So I feel like his growth is there. You know, he's definitely not, we, we, we basically the same age. And there's never, there's never no time for too late. You know, this, this album right here is only, he's only getting better with his craft. 
And as long as he's enjoying the music that he's making and he's making a living off of it, then you can't really hate on that. You know, um, his time will come. I feel like you don't need to switch up whatever whatever you do in Young Silver. You do not need to switch it up. This is exactly what what we love as OGs. You know what I'm saying? Not there's not a lot of real rap that's still alive today, other than you know Kendrick and and, and J Cole, but. Real rap is basically dead. I'm sorry to tell y'all. Like it's, it's it's dying out. Nobody wants to hear that anymore. So when you have artists like this, man, you you need to take advantage of it. I think you know we all have issues, even even in songs. If you really listen to the songs from um, word to word, Sylvan's just trying to figure figure himself out, figure where he wants to go. And my you know my advice to that is my my guy. You know you you doing what you do. Look, money is an issue for all of us. But I mean I wouldn't sacrifice it for your integrity. You know like I would keep exactly what you're doing. You have a big fan base. People love you. Your music starting. You, you just hit one million views. You were getting a little millions of views, not millions, but you were hitting one million on each video last year, kind of. And, and you know, you were doing your thing. That that will grow. You know what I'm saying? As your fan base grows, they share, they share, they share, and that's how you get out there. Uh, you don't you don't really don't need to be a, a a viral artist, but you need to share your art in your own way. And that's what people are gonna love you for because no one sees through that. Everybody is going to see who you are and I think that's the best way to portray yourself. Don't act like something you're not. Don't give this this gangster facade that you're really not, man, because you're definitely kind-hearted. It reflects in your music and you're, you're really motivational, man. Um, you like, like I said, when I was listening to Lupe Fiasco back in the day, man, he's the one that got me through, you know, my teenage years. You're an inspiration to a, a younger Miami out there. You know what I'm saying? So that I, I can definitely appreciate it. I love the album. I think you probably have one of the best rap albums of the year so far. We're only in March. So, you know, only time will tell. And, and just because, you know, you are not the Billboard rapper and you're not the number one, you're not a Drizzy, doesn't mean you're not a great artist know that Lil Pump is out there you know one of the top 10 rappers right now and he's not a top 10 rapper if that makes any sense so I'm just gonna keep it like that keep pursuing keep grinding look man I'm not I'm not the best reviewer out there I'm not the most insightful but the one thing I do do is I, I'm, I'm myself and I speak on how I feel and I give my opinion that's all I can do I can't fake that so if I have that then I'm, I'm perfectly fine with how I review music and how I you know approach music and that's what cool so you know, if y'all riding with that, you know, I'm going to keep doing more reviews. Shout out to Young Sylvan out there. His album was great. I'm, my, my apologies. No pun intended for being late on the album. I know I am late. <laughs> I'm about a month and a half late, but I appreciate you giving me the album early, man. It's definitely refreshing. Listen, and you are all over my Miami to Panda playlist. So we're going to keep it like that. Let me know how y'all feel about the album below, man. If you haven't listened to it, go take a listen to it, man. My dude, Sylvan Q is the real deal. Um, he could definitely rap if you like something like that you want to hear something refreshing like something old school You know where, where it's actually an art, you know a concept something that you can relate to listen to this man A pause in advance. It definitely gets you through life. So with that man Hey, don't forget like comment subscribe share all that good stuff and until the next review first review starts today I'm gonna continue. I think I think I kind of like I just like talking about albums So till the next time it's been your boy Dev like always thanks for support and we out